Winona knows how to keep them talking in Nashville. She and mom Naomi were the biggest duo ever in country music. Then Winona made it big on her own. Then she had a baby without getting married first. Now Winona has other news about some big changes in her life, and I went to Tennessee to get the story straight from the star. I saw the She's the queen of country music, firmly established as a hit-making solo artist after years as part of the Judds with her mother, Naomi. Winona invited me to her 19th century Tennessee home to talk openly about her impending wedding, her pregnancy, and her son Elijah, who was born just over a year ago out of wedlock. Someone said to me recently in an interview, you know, unplanned pregnancy, and I, I found myself feeling strange about that word because to me, even though I was, you know, politically incorrect, it was... I think inevitable for Elijah to be here. This is God's way of saying it's time for you to have a real life and it's time to find out if you can get along with a man, you know, and not get on a bus and leave town and say, you know, hey, I'll see you later. Is that so, why you two chose not to get married right away? Mm -hmm. I got a lot of mail from women who said, you need to get married, why? What's most important for me is to know for sure mm -hmm. that when I walk down that stinking aisle, that I'm there and I know what's going on and I'm ready. And so, now you're gonna uh, have another baby? Yeah. That, I, was this planned? No. This was My not life is completely either. unpredictable, as you can see, no. And Why not? Have you and your mother talked about <laughs> yes, these things now? Have. I mean, you know, yeah. there's a way to plan these things. <laughs> I know there is. <laughs> Believe me, I'm aware of this, and this is the hard part. Tell me about the wedding. It's really going to be very simple. Believe it or not, folks, I know people think I have this fairy tale life. I really am really satisfied with the simple things. Now, who are your Relatives. bridesmaids going Ashley, to be? Ashley, my sister. Just Ashley. That's it. And that's, uh, that's and it, what folks. about mom? She's going to be your mom. Yeah. And, <laughs> she's going to be the but mom. She's not going to be and in the, the nurse wedding. in case I pass out. Much has been said about her sometimes stormy relationship with her mom, but Winona set the record straight. Mom and I are so close. I don't know that mom really can accept the fact that I'm moving on. But she's letting go, you know, we, we talk about it a lot. During our interview, I got the chance to meet the men in Winona's life, her fiance, Arch Kelly III, and 13-month-old Elijah. Do you know your mommy and daddy are getting married very soon? <laughs> is daddy nervous? <laughs> daddy, are you nervous daddy, about that? I am nervous. How did you propose? I got down on my knees. She's and, bending me. And mm -hmm. said, uh, my darling, why? And that's how it starts. Is this going to be the Kelly household or the Judd household? <laughs> Judd Kelly. Okay, it's the Judd Kelly household. <laughs> that's it. Although it was a rainy day in the Tennessee countryside, Winona showed me the town in her vintage 1948 Ford pickup. And I have to admit, we had a wonderful day sharing fun and girl talk. It sure has been a fun time <laughs> spending the day with you. Thank you. From one mom to another. Yeah. <laughs> We had such a great day, as you could see. I must tell you, there is no furniture in that house because Winona and Arch are rebuilding the house completely. Meanwhile, Winona says for the wedding, she's going to wear a very traditional wedding dress. It is going to be a very small ceremony, only family present. Then they're going to have a big party later on, and that will certainly be the buzz of Nashville, I'm sure.